Time to react to one of my favorite chefs on YouTube, Joshua Weisman. He made a $2 spaghetti meatballs. Did he do it the right way? Let's see. How can that be so cheap? Spaghetti and meatballs. That might trigger some memories for you. And you got yeah, well, um, memories. Spaghetti meatballs, it's an American dish, okay? It's American Italian, American modern Italian, okay? Spaghetti meatballs was created in the region of Abruzzo, where I'm from, in the town of Teramo. And the spaghetti is handmade, so they're thick, square spaghetti, and the meatballs are tiny. Tiny, 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 tiny meatballs. I don't know what happened when the recipe got to America. The pasta is not fresh anymore. It's from the packet, you know, from the store-bought pasta. And the meatballs are huge. So what happened during the transition? Why everything gets bigger when it gets to America? So let's see how Joshua will make it. But if you want to learn more about this dish, the original way, I've got two videos on my channel. One with my nonna doing it, and another one where I remade it. The mini, mini meatballs will make a huge difference. To a restaurant, mommy and daddy order it for you, and you didn't realize that it was this much per plate. What? Yeah. When you could be having it for this much, that is but cheap. I guess it could happen. It could be. I mean, I don't know how expensive the meat is where you guys are. I live in, in Australia, and it is quite expensive. So I don't believe I can make it. I can make meatballs for that cheap, but let's see. It does look nice, it does look a little bit dry, but it's just the presentation and it's a video, I'm not judging that. I like the cheese, it's nicely fresh, grated. The basil chopped, I don't like it. Basil, don't chop it, use your hands to break it. Okay, so we all know the classic spaghetti and meatballs, but what do you think it is? It's spaghetti and meatballs, but it's not, <laughs> yeah. not just spaghetti and meatballs, it's about the pasta. Yes, bravo. We're starting the right way. It is about the pasta, and that needs to be fresh. It's about the sauce, and it's about the- It is about the sauce. The sauce needs to be perfect. The meatballs, and there's- And the most important one, the meatballs. Not too big. They don't look big. I don't make these at home. I never made spaghetti meatballs at home this way, and I would never make this for my kids. I don't care if they like it. I make it tiny. Tiny, tiny meatballs, because when you get the forchettata, you put it in your mouth, you get meatballs and pasta and the sauce all at once. How can you put a big meatball like that in your mouth? There's only three main components that make up what it is. So you better believe that those three components should be perfect. I agree. Well, well said. Well said, Joshua. Since they should be utterly full of flavor and anything less than that ruins the entire dish. I agree, 100%. And yet people are sitting back and enjoying a plate of spaghetti and meatballs that's subpar when you don't even realize that you're ruining your life. <laughs> Disgusting! You should be ashamed. But today we're gonna fix that. So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? It's funny. We've had this discussion before. Oh, Josh, is homemade pasta cheaper or is store-bought pasta cheaper? Look, here's the short answer, but kind of long. Yes, you can get your flour, your eggs, mix them together, and that dough is less expensive than buying pasta. But unless you have the buying power to get yourself a pasta roller with the spaghetti attachment, you're gonna be hard pressed for it to be very Look, you can buy cheap, dry pasta, like pasta in the pocket, which I do not recommend you because in the long run, it's not good for you, it's not gonna be good for your digestion, it's not done well, and it doesn't taste good. So invest when you buy pasta. When I say invest, pay an extra dollar, but buy good quality pasta. It's just one dollar. You can feed the whole family. Or you make it yourself. Maybe you don't save much money when you make pasta because you need to buy the flour, you need to buy the eggs, and nothing is cheap anymore. But it's a fun process to make fresh pasta. And spaghetti meatballs made with fresh pasta, it's like another level. Our big juicy balls. Great meatballs don't need to be complicated. They just need a touch of technique, some essential ingredients, and maybe an individual that gives a f about what they're doing for themselves for one. That's so right. That's so right what you just said. It's so, so right. Start off with a quarter pound of ham. In this case, I use mortadella, which is- Ooh, I've never used mortadella and meatballs. Joshua, what have you done to me today? <coughs> this is a brilliant, brilliant idea. Mortadella and meatballs. Wow. And I love mortadella. Slightly, Slightly pricier, pricier and yeah, also meatballs. not ham. I would recommend going with ham if you want to save the cash. No, this is beautiful. I don't think I'm going to use ham, but mortadella and meatballs? Wow. Chop that bad boy finely and place in a medium-sized bowl. To that bowl, you'll add one pound of ground. What is that? It looks like dog meat. Honestly, do you guys sell meat like that in USA? I've seen other videos before where you guys actually do that. How can you buy that? It looks like here in Australia, we buy dog food like that. I can't eat meat like that. Sorry, but I think I'm eating dog food. 
ground beef. Ground beef. Oh, wow, tangly. Oh, wow. One teaspoon of finely ground fennel seed, one and a half teaspoons of fennel seed. Fennel seed, usually we put them in sausages. I don't see why not in meatballs. Fine sea salt, three cloves of garlic that have been finely chopped, a quarter cup of fresh grated pecorino or parmesan cheese. Okay. It's using both pecorino and parmigiano, bravo. Black, black pepper to taste, give that a good mix to incorporate, then add half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. And you can use panko, whatever you think you're doing, it's fine, panko's fine, but if you get a nice bread and let's say you got some leftover from yesterday or the day before, just put it in the blender and get the beautiful breadcrumbs that you need. Or buy a nice breadcrumb from a local bakery, you know, just get fresh breadcrumbs, it's a lot better. And to be honest, you need a little bit of water or milk. One whole egg. Mix it together and knead for about one minute until. Look, the secret to make super moist meatballs you need some slices of bread, wet it, soak it in the water or milk, squeeze it out, and you put it in the meatball. That's the secret to make the meatballs soft. Emulsified oh, and tacky. Look, a good force meat like this should have a little bounce to it, almost jiggle. You know, you want that thing. Thank you. This should make. They look. They look very moist. It looks very moist. And the, honestly, it does look very moist, and I like it. And the mortadella in it. Ooh, it's gonna give flavors. Twenty meatballs. So get yourself a large cookie scoop and scoop out as many chunks as you can onto a small sheet tray. I use. I just feel sorry for that mortadella mixed with dog food. It doesn't deserve that. The wrong scoop, so I ended up with 19. Good job, Josh. Anyway, roll those meaty men. So the good thing about using the ice cream scoop or whatever you call it, is that at least you get every single meatball, you know, the same size, same weight, and then you roll it with your hands. It's a lot easier as a process. I like to do it by hand, but you did a good job. I normally do it by hand because when I use these things, the meat always gets stuck on it and I don't find it easy. But looks like Joshua did it very easily. Into nice. Now get yourself a large saute pan, heat that over medium high with just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. And once it's hot, hot, add all your meatballs in a single layer so it's not overcrowded and sear for about two minutes. Flip and sear on one or two more sides until you get some browning all over. Now they likely are still a little raw on the inside. That's good. We don't want them cooked all the way through yet. So stay calm. Place your- It's beautiful to cook the meatballs this way. I still do it. I change my ways. There are three ways of cooking meatballs. This way, the other way, which is like shallow fried. The other way is to bake it in the oven, which is also tasty, also very, very good. And the third way, which is my favorite way, it is to freeze the meatballs. If you're not doing this on the day, usually I make a large batch of meatballs. And what I do is batch a meeting today. I do this, shallow fry, or bake. And with the leftovers, I freeze them. They are the best meatballs, the frozen ones, yeah. So when I cook them, what I do, I, I make the sauce, nice and hot, boiling, and I put the meatballs in the boiling sauce, in the hot sauce, for straight from frozen. Frozen meatballs in the pot, and I cook it for about half an hour, even 40 minutes. That's how I make the best meatballs. Meatballs on a plate, the, the meatballs on a plate, reduce your heat to medium, add four cloves of thinly sliced. Yeah, the garlic cloves like that, it's, I know lots of people like to cut the garlic like that. I recommend you using a garlic crusher or chop very, very fine because you want the garlic to disappear in this dish. You do not want to have a chunk of garlic in your mouth. It's garlic, garlic. saute for about a minute or till fragrant, then add one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Ooh, red pepper flakes in the sauce for spaghetti meatballs. Okay, I guess that's personal choice, isn't it? Saute that for 30 seconds, then add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomato. That's a good tomato, that's a good brand, so if you find it, go for it. Did he uh, cr uh, crush tomato? Okay, you can use peeled tomatoes and crush it yourself. Crushed tomatoes are a little bit lower, has quality, but at the same time, it's cheaper. Serve it Stir together, sugar. season a taste of salt, and just a pinch of sugar to curb its acidic quality. Now, if you use good Italian tomatoes, and I believe they are, you don't need to use sugar. Qualities. Then add your meatballs, bring to a simmer over a medium. And I recommend always have your uh, sauce hot before adding the meatballs. In this case, the meatballs are already cooked, so they can, they're can they not going to break. But if you don't fry the meatballs and you want to cook the meatballs straight in the sauce, they will break if the sauce is not hot, okay? The meatball needs to go in the hot sauce, so they, they go like that, you know, they stay firm. If the sauce is warm, the meatballs will relax and fall apart. Beam heat. Reduce, Reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for five to eight minutes. Now, halfway through that, you're gonna add one bunch of basil that's been left. Nice, nice. So you got beautiful, big bunch of basil in it. It's gonna give beautiful flavors. Lightly bruised, and of course, let it continue to finish cooking until your meatballs are cooked through and the sauce is slightly reduced. Now, at this point, you need to make sure that your sauce is seasoned perfectly with salt. You always need more than you think. Okay. Yes. So you got your sauced up, dare I say, bossed up, ball. 
meatballs. Now for your spaghetti. But wait, reserve about one cup of your meatball sauce to the side for extra saucing. You never know. Yes, you never know. I think the extra sauce makes the pasta so much better. You always need extra, extra sauce. Always. Especially for spaghetti meatballs. If you're using store bought, then you'll add those guys and let them. Yeah, the store bought pasta. That's not good. I don't know what brand it is. I've never seen it in my life. But they, they're not, not a good color. It's orange. Until al dente, which is usually like 30 seconds under most of the recommended time. If you buy an Italian pasta, it will tell, it tell you spaghetti cooks 10 minutes al dente, 12 minutes. So al dente is exactly 10 minutes. More than that, it's uh, maybe how you like it, if you don't like it al dente. Once it's done, <laughs> instead of draining your pasta, Papa recommends that you use tongs to pick up big... Joshua, did you watch my video? This is what I do in my videos. I always do this. I'm the one who has started this online. There's no Italian chef doing this, nobody else doing this. I was always doing this. I don't use colanders anymore. I always do this, so it makes me happy that you watch my videos. A bunch of pasta, pasta letting, letting it drain drink. slightly and adding it to your saucy balls until all of your pasta... See, if the meatballs were tiny, like my grandmother does, or you can watch my videos, spaghetti meatballs, the Italian way, if tiny, it's so easy to combine the sauce and the pasta. So these meatballs are too big. Has been it's added. been added. Juicy, tasty, especially with the mortadella, but too big. And it's not Joshua's fault, it's an American's fault, I think. I think it's how America does it. I'm not here to judge, you do whatever you want. But you need to understand that if you have smaller meatballs, you have a better culinary experience. You can improve by doing that, by making the meatballs tiny. More work, yes, but worth it. This will this incorporate will some of that some pasta, pasta water, here. which is a good thing. Matter of fact, when it's all added, maybe add a couple small oh, splashes of extra pasta, pasta water. water. Yes, yes. Toss all that That's together all that together till everything is coated evenly and beautifully. And now you're ready to serve. Just, I mean, it looks nice when it's presented well. A good portion of pasta, place it on a plate or shallow bowl. My God, look at his hands, they're so dirty. Maybe use a spoon, Joshua. <laughs> Add some additional sauce for those who can. Yes, see the sauce, so important to have extra sauce. Because the pasta will dry up, you need lots of sauce. Plain, add on at least four meatballs per plate, depending on your vibe. I mean, you have to break the meatball to be able to enjoy it. You have to break the meatball into pieces, and that's extra work. Your pasta will get cold, your sauce will get cold by the time you break the meatballs. Instead, if the meatballs were small, the pasta stays warm, the sauce stays warm, and every time you put a fork of spaghetti in your mouth, you get the meatball. And it's not Joshua's fault. Joshua is doing what the Americans love. And he did it well. I think he took it to the next level. The best, the only thing he has to do now is to make the meatball small. Some additional, some additional sauce. sauce. Optionally, sure, you get that with some fresh grated pecorino or parmigiana, or, well, more specifically for about cheaper parmesan. And finally, some chiffonade fresh basil. This is, yeah, it looks nice in presentation. I will never cut the basil like that because all the flavors will stay on your fingers, on the knife, on the chopping board. Basil needs to be fragrant by hand. A lot of pasta. So let's say this makes about five generous servings, but you could easily serve more if the portions are smaller. Presentation is beautiful. If you look at it, it's beautiful. I don't eat spaghetti and meatballs like that, but it looks beautiful. For someone who loves spaghetti and meatballs this big, it's a beautiful presentation. I actually made this a smaller serving for the sake of presentation, so expect a serving to be much larger than this, and more specifically. And I heard he's a big boy, Joshua, so. For this price, bro. That's crazy, crazy. I mean, look, if that doesn't get you going, then this tasting probably will. I didn't really think that through when I played in this. Get on over there, you funny man. This much per bowl. Come on. This is a generous bowl, but come on. This is how much is left. Dude, you paid as much for this as one little plate. So I think... It's crazy. Wow. See, like food, you keep it simple. You don't need much money. You need just good ingredients, but you need to be smart. Uh, you buy the ingredients and you can make a good meal with less than $10. You can make a meal for the family. Instead of you going to the restaurant and spend $100 for something that is not even made as good as you, you can do at home. You know, some of the restaurants today don't even cook anymore. They have everything pre-made. Everything gets pre-made. All they have to do is to warm it up for you. You can do it better at home. I think we could obviously try a meatball by itself. Yeah, like that's the way I eat it. All in the mouth, all at once. Oh my lord. This ball? In my mouth. I'm about to bust. We always need to do our, uh, mic's a little far away. I'm just gonna, it's okay, I'll walk over. It's okay, Kendra. It's all right. It's all right, Kendrick. Buongiorno! <laughs> oh, Giorno, I really, really like this, um, this video. The meatballs are beautiful. Like the mortadella in the meatball, it just changed my life, Joshua. It did. I'm gonna get your book because you're a great guy. I wanna support you and I wanna make meatballs with mortadella in it. Got that, that chew, chew to it, the sauce, the sauce, a little spicy, spicy too much. Too much. I'm tired of people doing, oh, I'm gonna put a teaspoon. Yeah, I mean, Josh, if someone doesn't like the spice, you don't need to put the red flakes, you know, in there. It's your choice. 
it's fine. Me, I prefer not to put it so everybody can enjoy it. And if you want it, you put it at the end, together with the parmigiano or pecorino. Spoon of red pepper flakes. <laughs> Going too far. The egg, I, I enjoy Joshua. I like everything he does. And he almost convinced me to eat spaghetti meatballs with large meatballs. <laughs> I'm not going to, okay? No, don't worry about it. But yeah, well done, well done, Joshua. What do you guys think? Do you guys, do you guys follow Joshua? Do you like what he does? Have you purchased his book? I really like him. Hopefully I can meet him one day just to hang around with him and cook. I don't even have to do a video with him. Just want to enjoy some great time in the kitchen with this guy. He's, uh, he's fun, he's awesome. And I think we can share a few jokes together. So yeah, maybe let him know that I really like what he does. And when I go to USA, we can meet. Or if he comes to Australia, he can come to my house. So guys, thank you for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate reaction video. E ora si mangia. Joshua Meatballs. Well, Joshua Meatballs recipe, but I make them tiny. <laughs> thank you.